Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a review and demo of the new Hourglass Ambient Edit Lighting Palette. So I have not tried this, I have not tested it. I wanted to do it today with you and I wanted to compare it to other Hourglass palettes that have come out in the past, like such as Ambient Lighting Palette that I think has come out a couple of times and that I love. See if it's really worth the money because I think it's around $80. What it looks like, I love the packaging. I feel like this marble won't show any fingerprints. It won't get like a disaster like this one. All of the colors. So you basically have a finishing powder, a bronzer, a blush, another blush, and a strobe powder. And it's all called Surreal Light. So none of these you can get in singles, and I don't think any of these you could get in previous palettes, which is kind of interesting. So I've got everything on my face except for like bronzer, blush, and that's it. So we're just gonna kinda, and powder, I don't have any powder. So basically this is the edit palette, and then this is the surreal palette. You can tell. Kinda similar, kinda not. So first color, let's set my face because I have concealer and foundation on and this must be the finishing powder. Yeah, number one. Oh, okay, just to let you know, like on the back, they have all of the names of what's in here. I've got according numbers to the names, which is really, did they do that before? No, first one right here is a finishing powder. I'm going to swatch it. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's what it looks like. And I'm gonna compare it to Dim Light. So that is Dim Light, that is Surreal Light. Dim Light is a little bit pinker and Surreal is a little bit more yellow. So really big fluffy brush and use this to set my face. It sets really nice. It leaves like a really pretty, so I really like this. So yeah, it kind of adds like a peachy, not like, I don't wanna say a peachy glow, but like a really pretty warmth to the face. So these two right here are blushes. This is a bronzer and then that is a highlighter. So pretty. So that's the bronzer of Surreal Light. That's Surreal, that is the one from the Edit Palette which is luminous. So these are definitely different. Luminous bronze is more of orangey, and this one I like. It's kind of like a, almost like a blush. I mean, it looks like a blush color. At first I thought it was mood exposure. Let's see how it applies to the face. Gosh, that Surreal Light really is a pretty finishing powder. That's super pretty. I look really dark. So I love this bronzer. It almost looks like a blush. That's so nice. Watch this be the blush and I'll just like do everything backwards like I did in the Kylie video. I'm telling you, they don't make these user friendly or they just don't make them friendly for like me. Near like the other ones, like at all. Next, let's put on a blush and I don't know which, they have two here at the bottom which is Surreal Effect, which is that one, and then Surreal Glow, right? So that is Surreal Glow, and Surreal Effect is pinker. Not really my favorite, I have to say. I don't really wear a lot of blushes like this. So that is Surreal Glow. It's this gorgeous rose color, and then this is Surreal Effect, and that is like the pink color. Let me just see if this is like, okay, so yeah, they are different. So this is mood exposure. Okay, so right here is mood exposure and then that is uh, luminous flush. So luminous flush, mood exposure, effect, surreal effect, and then the surreal blush. So you can justify having both of these. Put on, I'm gonna put on the rosy color. And these go on so nicely and there's no glitter. Like there's no chunky glitter or um, shimmer. It's almost just like a really pretty, um, 
effect color. I feel like I look like I, I feel like I look like I have a bomb ass tan right now and I don't at all. Do a dowel of the other one because for the sake of the video. I'm gonna use my favorite highlight brush, which is the Makeup Forever 140. I love this. And I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this. This is like their Astro powder. I feel like it's kind of dark. Uh, it's peachy, and this is the only shade right here that has a little bit of glitter in it. Not, e I wouldn't even say glitter, I would say shimmer. It's kind of, I don't know how I feel about this color right here. Oh, maybe I like it. It's gorgeous. My skin is so dry. So pretty, I take that back. I didn't think I would like it because in the, um, it kind of looks a little bit dark, but it's like this peachy beige color. It's not, I would think it's kind of more tan, but it's really not, it's really pretty. As this is like a total must have. You can, you can get it now at Sephora. If you have any other Hourglass palettes, this one is totally different. I was really curious to see if the shades would be similar because I really hate when companies do that. I mean, I think Hourglass has come out with two of these and all of the shades were either in the last palette or they're just very similar and then it's just not worth the money. This, everything is different and I think everything is gorgeous. Super, super, super dark skin. I don't think that this would work for you because all the shades are like light to medium. I'll link below if you're interested in buying it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not done that already. I hope this has helped you. It was kind of a quick review. Anyway, let me guys know what you think and I love you all and I will see you next time. Bye.